Fires were raised up in the air, each one representing someone who has been impacted by Alzheimer's disease or is supporting the cause. The annual Greater Hartford Walk to End Alzheimer's returned to in-person this year. Channel 3's Christian Cologne was there and he has the story. And look at how beautiful all of these flowers are. Yellow for support, purple if you lost some water, blue if you have the disease. Today about a thousand people signed up for the annual Alzheimer's walk with the hope of being part of the solution. People need to feel supported. Um, unfortunately, my father's not at a point that I think he would really be aware at this point of what we're doing for him, but my mother certainly is. and. All being together on this is so important just uh, for our own, uh, our own health and uh, to strengthen one another. Joanne Gordon's dad is diagnosed and holds a story too common, a change in the loved one's behavior that hasn't gotten any better. It all started off with just memory impairment of getting in our car and not remembering where, how to get back home to writing the wrong checks in the checkbook. Um, she, my dad is currently living and my dad noticed it first and we got her diagnosed pretty early on. A diagnosis that comes with a heavy price, which is why this walk is hoping to raise thousands for research purposes. For Macy Russell, who lost her mom to the disease, it's still not the end. Now she works to get other people to help. It is one of the most expensive diseases. And basically, through all those years, I work. So basically, um, working with the Alzheimer's Association and getting advice and care and support from them was very pivotal because I had her in my home for most of those years. So far, more than $240,000 has been raised. A strong comeback after the event didn't happen last year because of COVID. It's just an amazing amount of people that come together for whatever reason, to support one person that's going through it, to support the caregivers that are giving so much time and energy, and, uh, and obviously to support research, and eventually we'll find a cure and treatments that can help slow the progression of this disease. Walk to end Alzheimer's! Woo! There we go. I got yellow to support the cause, and if you would also like to help out, head to alz.org slash CT. In East Hartford, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Nice job, Christian, coming up.